Uh, this is all about you. This is your Oracle and Tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. My name is Michelle. If you have not yet, please do click subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I go live and when I upload all the content. Gemini, this is your week ahead reading. So for the next seven days out, you can apply this energy to Gemini, sun, moon, rising, or wherever Gemini influences your natal chart. You can apply these energies for the next seven days. All right, energy. Okay, energy. All right, Gemini, let's start your reading. First card out. This is really interesting energy. There is always enough. So there seems to be a drain this week on you, Gemini, a drain on your emotions, sort of some sort of emotional strain, some sort of inability to balance out your feelings with maybe everything that's happening around you, maybe connect with things that are happening around you. There could be this feeling of being disconnected and not integrated into what's going on around you, which is an interesting feeling for a Gemini. It's this sense of more emotions than you usually feel, but really not knowing where to place them. You could be dealing with a Piscean energy and this Piscean energy, basically something that has to do with illusions or um, I don't know if it's purposely intentionally false, but it's definitely illusionary and uh, not real. So something that is uh, not what it appears to be. This is the essence of the reading. This is the reading, the crowning energy for your reading this week. I need to go on because this is really sort of a mystery card. This is for me 36. So 36 equals nine. Nine is darn near completion. It's the coming of um, the last phase of things. So the preparation for completing things. So this could be you disassociating yourself from emotions because you're trying to move on from a circumstance that maybe has lasted longer than it should have, but there's definitely some sort of emotional disassociation and that's what's crowning this week. So it feels like this is your energy, maybe pulling away from somebody that you don't feel comfortable around anymore. There's just an energy of somebody, of you not feeling comfortable with what you're feeling. That's what the energy is. So. Next card out is give with gratitude and grace. Could have happened sometime around Thanksgiving. This energy could have started to come into being, but it's like there's always enough. Um, there's always enough. And then there's, no, oh, you feel like you're giving way too much. You really do. There's this feeling of you have given all of yourself. So turkey is self-sacrificial. We all know what happens to turkeys. God bless them on Thanksgiving. This is the card of seven. So in creation, you have given all of yourself to something Gemini. And the, it has. there's a frustration here. It's almost like things have not yet shown any kind of reciprocity or abundance coming in. You don't see any signs of being anything but food to somebody. And this is any a sensation that is it's frustrating you, and I think that that's why you're almost disconnecting emotionally. It could be from a circumstance, a situation, family, or a person. This is just general energy, so it could apply to many different circumstances. But it's the energy of removing oneself emotionally because you feel like you're stuck. You're trying to find a sense of balance. You're trying to be grateful for what's in front of you, but you honestly felt fed upon. There's an energy of feasting, feasting and giving and giving and giving, but being emptied, not feeling like, yeah, it's, it's like you're feeling emptied, like, like you're giving all of yourself and not really, um, and getting lost. You're getting lost. You're giving so much of yourself. You're getting lost. Ooh, Gemini. That is interesting. That is all like crowning energy. That is sort of a cumulative crowning energy. If you're on platforms that allow for commercials, I'm slipping one in right here and I'll be back in about 30 seconds. Thank you for your patience. So thank you for your patience either through the commercial or let's just get right onto it. Transformation is beautiful. This is definitely, you're in need of a change. Um, 
Yeah, you're ready to spread your wings and fly, but it's almost like you don't have enough resources. This could be the lack of money or lack of funds to move or move on. This could be the feeling of being drained, like you've put so much in, but you haven't gotten anything back and you don't have any more to give. This is a sense of being ready to take off, but not having the resources to do so. Feeling stuck in maybe a relationship or a situation that is draining you, but you feel trapped. You don't, you don't feel like you can actually... Uh, take off you're ready though you're ready to to leave this circumstance and situation because it's draining you so badly because you're giving so much and not getting anything back dream the world into being it's something from the past won't let you go there's an energy of being haunted it's like you have your eyes on the prize you have your eyes on the future but something from the past will not let you go it keeps reoccurring coming up from the it keeps it keeps haunting you there's either a feeling of guilt or a feeling of attachment, attachment to something that is unhealthy, that, uh, or an unhealthy attachment to you. When you're ready to transform and you're ready to move on, something is holding you back from doing that. You have this very playful nature, this energy of just wanting to move forward. Like the future is where your mindset is, but you see that outline that like sort of shadow of that skull. There's this, um, there's this feeling of, of, like Hamlet like feeling of holding death in your hands or holding the reminder of your ultimate fate in your hands. And somehow it's almost like maybe you're dreaming of what you can become, but something's holding you back from becoming it. And it could be, it could be a lack of resources. This is truth transcends illusion. So whatever it is that may be hidden or or haunting you or somehow holding you back is going to be made clear this week. Um, is coming to the surface. Transformation is inevitable. Like this is who you really, this is who you really are. This is an energy of maybe disassociating yourself from yourself and being something to somebody else, like being everything that they wanted you to be and, and ending up being drained because you weren't yourself. And now you're just at a point or at a brink where you need to get yourself back. You need to reclaim who you are. Lay a solid foundation. This is Virgo energy. This could be, um, this is earth energy. This is an energy of you building. And it could be that you were building something or working on something in secret. It may not be a relationship, but it may just be some sort of enterprise that you didn't feel like talking about or discussing with people because you were not ready to tell people about it. You were maybe even a little bit afraid that you would get judged, but you've been given all of yourself to whatever this situation is and it's really draining you but this week this is a really good week because you're going to start to see your life opening up you're going to start to see the transformation this is a six and that six is the number of the lovers in the um rider the original rider weight tarot so for me this could be building a foundation in love building a foundation with something that you love. It isn't necessarily somebody that you love, but what I can see here is come hell or high water, you have been working on something morning, noon, and night. You have been hard at work and you have been pounding and you have not been giving up. Now this could have something to do with maybe somebody's health, trying to help them get better or help them get well or trying to help, help somebody else get on their feet because there is an altruism here of, of you, um, like like assisting somebody or I'm sorry let me get this out of the way of you trying to help somebody now always 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 with all of my readings you can reverse the energies right but this is an energy of you trying to help somebody else or or vice versa it could be they're trying to help you and then they're starting to feel drained but you have been putting your all into building a more secure sincere future for somebody else getting somebody else back to themselves getting you back to yourself um making yourself come out loud and not be suppressed be playful so this is a week to take a little bit of a break and maybe even fake it till you make it when these two cards come in it's almost like fake it till you make it if you're not happy and they're if you don't feel the joy inside of you do it on the surface like smile even though your heart is breaking kind of thing and i feel like this is the energy of this week is this, this is what you're trying to do is you're trying to persevere and push on through something even though it, this is a sense of um not really feeling it not really 
you know, acting happy when you're not really. That's what this is. Now is a lucky time. So this is, there is an energy of being able to multiply and replicate and um, prosper and progress during this time period. But it's, it's almost like there has been a great, there has been almost too much sacrifice for what you've had to do to get where you are. And there's an ache here. It's almost like there's a, there's an underlying disappointment in maybe somebody that you really counted on. Maybe fucking like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe somebody is like fooling around and fooling, fooling around too much. That's what this energy is. Is some while you're hard at work, somebody's fooling around too much, and somebody maybe maybe was pretending to do work or pretending to keep up their end of the bargain, or claiming that they were, um, but that's not really true. This is somebody who had a false face on. They pretended to be very lighthearted and be very happy, and they really really weren't. And this is an energy of trying to build a solid foundation, but it not being sincere. There's a lack of sincerity here and there's a feeling of being completely and totally drained. This is very blatant energy. This is um, now is a lucky time and sometimes life stings. Sometimes life stings is your grounding energy. So this is a this is a what you're going to have to deal with this week. This is an energy of um, learning how to accept the bitter with the sweet, even when the bitter is overpowering the sweet. And there is a, a, a mentality here of the bitter overpowering the sweet this week, of trying to behave like or put on the face of somebody who is happy with their life when they're really not. Um, let me get into, let me flip the camera around. Hold on. Here we go. It's an interest. This is an interesting. This is an interesting reading um, because it's crowned by this cumulative energy of feeling like you're disassociated because you've given all. You, you've given your all, and now you almost feel like you're left trying to just balance, trying to balance with on one leg, trying to find a balance. This is Libra energy. You could be dealing with a Libra. Embrace the in between. Um, but not with this energy crowning it. And it. Like without this crowning energy, this would be you kind of having fun. You know, you may not be where you are yet, but you kind of like where you are. But then we have this feeling of there is not enough. Maybe it's just that there's not enough time. Maybe you feel like you're in a rush or in a hurry or being pressured to, to do something or create something or you're pressured into something somehow that you're really not ready to commit to. And you guys do not like to be pressured into situations, but it's almost like somebody is draining you emotionally. So they're like tapping into an emotional vein, like making you feel emotionally obligated for them. Um, that's really interesting. I pick up this energy a lot around you guys. This feeling of, of somebody trying to sort of, uh, be, you know, <sighs> drain you emotionally. There's this, there's this energy. If this is a person, this is somebody who almost is not aware of themselves. They think they're giving so much. And I don't think they're fully aware of understanding that they really aren't. It's almost like they're buying their own BS. And they think that they're just, you know, bringing with bringing so much to the table, when in reality they're they're there's there's this there's this no they're not, and it's making you uncomfortable. I wonder if any of this is making sense to you because this is a very difficult energy for me. Butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful. Lizard spirit dream the world into being. This is a transformative time. So you're giving up on something. You're walking away from something. You're, you're so frustrated with something. You're pretty much not wanting to stick around for it. You want to, you want to, you, you want to have happiness. You want to have stability, right? But there is this energy of how can you, you can't, this is my Virgo card. So it's almost like you can't build your future, you, you can't build your future on sand. You can't, when you build a house of sand, you know, it's just going to crumble. 
And this is that energy of feeling like something has been built on sand that you cannot really rely on it. And that if you don't keep working overtime to do the patchwork and keep up this appearance, everything is just going to fall to you know what. See, sometimes life stings. This is 64. Six, six and four add up to 10. 10 is that number of completion. So you're done. This is hurt too much and taken too much. And it's just a little ping of a reminder that, that there's more to life out there in front of you. There's a bigger, wider world out there that it's almost like you're not being able to experience because of these obligations. This is a sense of really feeling trapped in a situation, of feeling obligated to keep up appearances. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to get deeper into this, do an extended reading to try to understand exactly what it is that is bothering you so much. Um, uh, so much, Gemini. We're going to go over to... Um, we're going to go over to the extended. The, the link is below. And also there is your uh, romance reading if you're interested. I'll see you over there.